Hello guys, welcome to a new guide for iAlion private server. Today we're going to talk about what you want to spec for a PvE grind. For Paladin it's a little bit different than for other classes, because um, Paladin has a different spec for PvE, PvP, but also in terms of PvE for bossing and for grinding different specs. So. Let's get started with the runes. Your runes should be um, definitely 33 fate for the extra 9 points. And then you want to work on the 88 red or the 88 um, purple. So you get an additional damage bonus and um, just increase your grinding speed. Um, also, I would suggest to get uh, 12 at least on every single um, color for runes. That should be your um, starting point where you excel. And um, yeah, that's pretty much your go-to. And then after that, you obviously um, want to increase most of them to 21. And then um, you kind of want to increase orange to 33. And... Um, to 33 if possible okay next we have our mana tree um, on your mana tree you want to go for um, the destruction per ultimate imprint and you want fiery pit because for grinding you mainly use ground targeted skills you will see this um, also on, on our gear later but um, yeah, this will increase the incoming damage on mobs that get hit by um, our ground targeted skills. So basically, just free damage increase. Then, um, magic aggregation um, is a very useful because you, when you are hitting a little bit stronger uh, mobs, then you will consume a lot of uh, mana. But um, it's not needed for the for the grind itself because um, the skills you're using don't use a lot of uh, mana. Then we have Meteor, which is also Ground Strike. Your main damage skill in um, PvE is um, from Rushing Light. And this is Ground Target and Ground Strike. So um, Meteor also a really good and useful um, Transcendent imprint. And then we have Nature's Touch which is just a good attack speed increase and um, you basically get this from healing yourself and Paladin can heal himself so it's perfect. Alright, then we have our key imprints. I use Precise, you, you don't technically need to use Precise if you have the accuracy but I'm so low in accuracy it's unreal. Then. Um, I also use Cycle for the extra energy recovery or mana recovery. Then Floor Strike for the additional Ground Strike uh, hit critical hit power. And then you can also use um, this one, the Continuous Strike. But I'm currently on Max Imprint, so but this would be the next one you would choose in Key Imprint. And Masterful Magic um, is just like the, the first one you should get because you only do magic damage and it decreases your physical damage which you don't care about and uh, so you don't lose any damage basically and then for the basic imprints um, main stats is good, versatility is good acceleration for increased attack speed, max weapon attack and um, magic pierce, I accidentally specced into physical pierce here but uh, yeah I didn't level it up further um, but you don't want to spec into physical purse, of course. Then we have our gear. And um, on your gear, you want to try and get, um, like on your, on your main hand weapon, you want to try and get um, magic attack, max weapon attack and cooldown. Then on your offhand, you want the same. On your general gear, you want as much ground target skill critical Hit power and skill critical 
hit rate as possible. And um, on the chest, I also get uh, natural energy recovery, same as on the bottoms, but um, yeah, my epics are not perfectly rolled yet. Um, but yeah, on, on your gloves, they also have a really high impact on your damage because they can roll max weapon attack, which is um, like the best stat you can get, best scaling stat. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for um, the gear for grinding. Next up, we have our skills, and um, this is basically what I use. Um, you can switch some stuff up, but the general idea should be the same. You use white uh, auto attack, or however you want to call it, Blade of Honor, for movement. Then you have your blue punishment and blue annihilating light for stronger or tankier mobs. Then you have rushing light purple as your main damage skill or your main skill in general. Then sacred grace white is to pull some enemies in. It's not fully necessary. Could also be used like purple holy sword doing almost the same. Then brilliant light sword in purple. Um... It's like an insane movement skill, as well as providing a lot of damage from the projectiles flying around and uh, proccing rushing lights. Then Blink Sword is um, regening your whole energy, as well as um, with the last proc on blue, um, it also activates a rushing light again. Like you can already see the trend, you have rushing light and all of those proc rushing light. Then I have uh, Holy Blessing Blue just for like passive basically. You just have it up and then it just sits there, AFK. <laughs> um, then you have Holy Heal Blue. I use this sometimes to proc um, the thing in the mana tree um, where you get 10% attack speed. And um, it's generally just really good for healing yourself and like keeping yourself up, maintained. Um, especially, for example, when you use purple 88, which is damaging you for 1000 every now and then, then you can uh, mitigate it with this easily. And then we have our judging light purple. This is also a very important um, skill attribute because, as you can see, um, when we use it, we get a damage buff and the tech speed buff um, you w basically want to um, you basically have your um, your will bar here down here and then you want to have it full so it has 10 stacks and then your judging light will gain uh, give you 30% damage and 20% attack speed and it will last for 22 seconds so this is also the reason why you really want to stack cooldown reduction. Like, you could technically, on your gear, I showed you before, that you can uh, you use magic attack, cooldown, and max weapon attack. But technically, you could also use decreased cooldown. Uh, you could use crit power instead of decreased cooldown to get more damage out of it. But then you wouldn't be able to keep this buff up 100% of the time. Um... Even I can't keep it up yet because I don't have the um, four set uh, rapid yet. Because this uh, the four set rapid also gives you ten percent additional cooldown reduction. Um, right now I also use the four set a sharp like basically every other class and two um, two rapid. So um, yeah, when I have four rapid, two sharp, then it will be, I will have uh, further decreased my cooldown, and then like right now you can see 31 seconds. The buff stays 22 seconds. If we increase decreases decrease it by another 10 percent, it will go to around 27 seconds, and then um, with some other stuff you can get it to. 25 24 and then it's almost 100 percent up so yeah this is like the reason you really want to stack decreased cooldown because it just increases your damage and your attack speed so much that you need it up all the time or you want to have it up all the time
Next up, we have our Luminous. Um, sadly, I wasn't able to get a <laughs> Magic Luminous, but you want a yellow uh, Altar Luminous for Paladin for the PvE grind because it also increases your light damage and your magic damage. Um, I currently use a Corona. It's obviously not properly um, or not proper for a Paladin because it increases physical damage, which the Paladin doesn't do. So um, yeah, I'm trying to get a yellow Altar uh, Luminous for PvE soon. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. You. There's no real other luminous you want to use. Some I saw some people use yellow uh, dog luminous, but I don't think it's better than the Alta because Alta is just too good. <laughs> Treat me so mean, you're the meanest old woman I've ever seen I guess if you say so, I have to pack my things and go Get the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more Get the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more What you say? Get the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more Get the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more Don't you treat me this way Cause I'll be back on my feet someday I don't care if you do it Sometimes dude you ain't got no money I get to not go I don't care if you do it Sometimes dude you ain't got no money I get to not go Hey look at if you say so I pack up my things and go Get the road Jack Don't you come back no more No more no more no more Get the road Jack Don't you come back no more What you say Get the road Jack Don't you come back no more No more no more no more Get the road Jack Don't you come back no more Woman, don't you treat me this some way Cause I'll be back on my feet someday I don't care if you do send it to you And get the money and just another move If you say so Fuck up my things and go I guess if you say so Fuck up my things and go Hit the road, Jack And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more Hit the road, Jack And don't you come back no more Don't you come back, oh baby, please Don't you come back, no